So, one morning, I was playing competitive Overwatch and lost 10 matches in a row. In a row! There may have been one draw. I don't know. I was at 2600, then went all the way down to 2300 in just one morning. I was so frustrated and was desperately trying to get my score back, but no success. I'm sure we all have a story similar to this one. Then I kind of stumbled upon something. A way to get out of ELO Hell. A way to win 9 out of 10 games to help me get back up to 2600. And I did it using 2 heroes. There was a direct correlation with my performance with these heroes whether we won or lost. I've used other heroes and performed very well with them, but although I performed well, I would only win 7 out of 10 games. They didn't secure the win despite performing well. Except with these two heroes. Performing well with these two heroes almost guaranteed the win every single time. Now before I tell you, I want to explain how this came about. You see, when you're solo queuing and your team isn't talking, you have to think about the enemy team likely has the same issues as your team. Communication. And on console, a lot of players are coming from games like Call of Duty, so their behavior is summed up like this shoot anything in front of you. That's it. That's the extent of their cooperation. On both your team and theirs, that's all they're doing when they are not communicating. Now as a bit of a disclaimer, this doesn't seem to work as well once you start getting into the 2500 range as players are a tad bit more coordinated, but it's still a good strategy to use to help increase your win rate. The two heroes that, in my opinion, exploit the lack of coordinated teams the most are Tracer and Mercy. Let me explain. Every time we get defense on capture points, I switch to Mercy. Why? Because as Mercy, I can fix my team's mistake of dying. Remember, their focus is just shooting things in front of them and killing it. So as Mercy, my goal is to get my revive as fast as possible so that I can just hide and wait for the enemy to stack their ultimates and bring my team back to life. I try to spam the group up option when I notice the team is separating, for the most part it works. I only use her though on the first point of a hybrid map like King's Row or Hollywood and definitely on capture points like Anubis and Volskaya. Halo maps are just difficult finding the right positioning since it's always changing where you should set up camp. It can be a bit boring just hiding, but it works because it requires a team effort to get the Mercy out of hiding before stacking ultimates and wiping the team, and therefore capturing that point. Yes, you can have a good flanker like Tracer and Genji to find the Mercy and force her out, but remember, the team isn't coordinated so they don't know that it's a good time to ultimate stack when the Mercy is with her group. And plus all you do is fly to your team and they'll just shoot anything in front of them, like into your tracer that's chasing you. It's extremely important that you do not die. It may be obvious, but you have to take this to heart when you really want to get that win. I know I only did one revive, but it was the Symmetra and that's why I did it, because we need her teleport for this to work. A really good Symmetra, believe it or not, goes really well with the Mercy to constantly keep bringing the team back into a fight after dying, including you if you die as a Mercy and have a revive ready. A Sound Barrier from Lucio and Transcendence Healing from Zenyatta just can't protect the team from a lot of enemy ults, so assuming they're going to get taken out constantly by enemy ultimates, a good Mercy and Symmetra are their best friends. But if you can only have one of the two, then go with Mercy. Now let me explain Tracer. Tracer, more than any other hero in the game, has secured the most wins for me. You see, Tracer is a flanker. So if you do your job and distract some of the enemy team, then you are essentially making your team's job easier of shooting things in front of them by giving them less targets to choose from. Remember, their focus fire isn't going to be great either. I've had healers chase me around the entire map trying to kill me and leaving their team completely without heals because they were the only one. I've had Reinhardts chase me around the whole map rather than protecting their team. Again, Tracer just exploits this lack of coordination and the mentality of shoot everything you see. Now you may be thinking, what about Tracer's counters like McCree, Roadhog, Soldier, or even Winston? Well, let me tell you, those heroes are only counters to you if you let them. Take Winston for instance. His mobility is insane, but it's no match for Tracer's mobility. For every leap he has, Tracer gets two blinks. And she does major damage to him at a distance because despite her weapon spread, his critical hitbox, aka his big head, is easy for her to hit. For others like McCree and Roadhog, every good Tracer knows that you need to bait that flashbang. 
to bait that hook. Once you trick them into using it, you can dance all around them. So Tracer doesn't have any real hard counters as you may think, only if you can get her to exhaust all her blinks so she has nowhere to go. But again, a good Tracer knows that if you keep reaching for one of those blinks, then it's time to pause and take a break in a corner somewhere, get at least two blinks back, then go back into the fight. I tried doing this with Genji, but Winston will have his day with Genji every time because Genji needs to secure kills to keep getting his swift strike and therefore his escape ability. Yes, he climbs walls, but not like he used to since the nerf, and not all maps have the ideal environment for him to have walls to climb up and get away. Now I'm not going to rule out a good Genji completely, but Tracer is easier to use and doesn't need her team's support as much in order to operate. Also, her ultimate doesn't require the team's help as much as Genji's. So again, just like with Mercy, the most important rule about Tracers is that you do not die. Once you die, you have to spawn and get back behind the enemy safely, which takes a lot of time and your team could have been wiped by being a man down when you finally do get back. Your first goal is to distract between one and three players. Any more than three, they're probably going to take you out very quickly and at that point you just need to run and hide. Now you can totally get kills if you can, but don't sacrifice yourself for it because your first goal is to reduce the amount of targets your team has to shoot at to be successful. If you can distract both healers and they're chasing you around the map, then all the better. Sometimes I'll even camp out by their spawn with a pulse grenade just to take them out quickly so they get angry and really want to take me out and will leave their whole team just to chase me around. So what if you come up against a really good Roadhog or a McCree? Well, I didn't say you win all of them now, but you will win most of them. And again, it doesn't seem to work as well after rank 2500, which is platinum. A coordinated team can deal with the strategy fairly easily. And even a good Winston will not chase a tracer around the map, but constantly chase her away so that she can't contribute to her team's efforts, making her ineffective. But this will for sure help you to get your first platinum if you are still gold or below. Now that I'm confident about. So what do you think? Have you noticed the same thing? Have you been able to secure back-to-back -back wins with other heroes as long as you performed well? Do you think I even know what I'm talking about? I'd love to read your comments below. Now if the video catches on and people are wisening up to it, then I actually think that's a good thing because it requires coordination and skill to deal with a really good Mercy and a really good Tracer, so that means people will talk to each other more. And that's what we want, right? Well that's it for today guys, if you enjoyed the video be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.